So let's talk about the community vibe one a little bit, the connection to learning ratio that I mentioned. I mentioned this in other presentations, but I just want to be clear on what I'm talking about here. So the way I look at community is that it's about growth. So people are joining your community, not to stay the same, but to grow into some direction. Growth happens in community basically in two ways, either through learning or connection. And these should be flipped. It should be connection to learning. That's confusing for the ratio, but it should be C to L, connection to learning. Depending on the type of community business that you run, the general connection to learning ratio is, it matters a lot. So if you're doing a course, for example, versus a membership community, you have flipped ratios. Here's what that looks like. So a membership community in general, it's like 80-20. So much more on the connection side, a little bit of learning. If you're hosting an evergreen and plus events structure for your community business, it's the opposite. It's 30% connection, 70% learning. And these are just baselines, but yours can be very specific to you. It can be like 25, 75, like it depends on exactly like how your community functions. There's a question about short courses, but maybe we should save that for a little later on, Katie. Yep, we can resurface that. Thank you. So thinking about the connection to learning ratio for the type of community you're building and in general, what actually happens in your community, I would love for you to put into the chat what your community's connection to learning ratio is, roughly. This is not an exact science. And someone asked, what if your community is a combination? A lot of communities are some kind of combination, but one of the things that I recommend is that you have a primary type that you're building towards because that ends up being a barrier to clarity in your community because these types of community businesses, depending on which one you're building, your pricing is different, your growth activities are different, what actually, what, what your members expect is different between, for example, a group coaching program and a membership. So I always recommend, even if you're offering multiple things, like you have a membership community, but there are optional courses that people can buy, thinking about what the primary one is for your business. So what's the one that you're leading people towards? Okay. We have some ratios. 35, 65, so more on the learning side. 60, 40, more on the connection side. 40, 60, more on the learning side. 40, 60, cohort-based course every 12 weeks. 25, 75, more on the connection, sorry, more on the learning side. And then 80, 20, more on the connection side. Okay, so this is for now, we were just talking about your community and how it works itself. But the point is that your whatever your main growth channel is for your community, which at the early stages, I highly recommend that you pick one or two max to really focus on. Whatever that is for your community should roughly mirror your community connection to learning ratio. So it's what I was saying earlier. If you're hosting a course, your growth activity for your community should be learning based. Like it should be much more like what do people need to learn before they come into your community? If you're hosting a membership that is a lot about meeting other people and connecting with others, what is it that you can do in the growth piece that gives people the experience of what it feels like to be in your community? It doesn't make sense in that case to like, host a workshop and invite people in like your growth activities should match your what happens in your community because that makes your life easier as you're uh, inviting people in 